What's up guys, Rob from Clicks Geek. Been a while, haven't had time to make many videos, but I'm getting back into it. So today I'm gonna walk you through a very small limousine campaign. All right, we're using Google Ads here to get this guy more booked party buses, limos, and stuff like that. So this is, like I said, this is a really small campaign. If you look in here, he's only running, or I'm sorry, she's only running $37 a day. All right, and this is also in California. So that's obviously a little different because California is insanely restricted right now but they're still doing well people still want to go out and rent limos and party buses and stuff like that so there's still a market for it $37 a day 107 clicks over the last <clears throat> about eight days seven days eight days 838 impressions 12.77 percent click-through rate average cost per click is two dollars and 35 cents now you might be wondering why that's so cheap all right, so this campaign, the reason I'm making this video is I made this campaign as completely broad match keywords with a auto bid strategy. And you can see here we're using target CPA. And I just wanted to test it and see how it did. And the results uh, you're looking at them are, are really awesome. So before we switched to target CPA and broad match keywords, I think these guys were getting leads for like 20 bucks and the average cost per click was like seven bucks. All right, so it took a little bit to weed through all the keywords because you're using broad match, all the negative search terms that are, the search terms that are coming in are garbage, you add them to the negative list. But with time, I got this whittled down and now it's converting at 27%. And I think it used to convert way worse. Let me check real quick. Let's go back to January. 25%. I thought it was worse than that. Let me go back farther. Where is it? One of these months it was doing horrible. I don't know where it is. Um, pretty much on pace for 25% range. Oh, here's 19%. All right, so this is where September. I think it started uh, converting much less, 20%, 19% in September. So if we just go back to the last seven days, we're at um, 29%, $7.80 a lead, target CPA. Now this is, again, this is all broad match keywords. So when we weren't using broad match, using exact in phrase, we were getting, as you just saw, around 25, the average, anywhere from 19, 18 to 25. So we bumped up the conversion rate a few uh percentage points here which is huge in the long run and we're, we're we took all of the bidding off of our plate which is nice to have so if we go into the campaign here you can see it's very basic Bakersfield's were there very basic um, uh, ad groups here this is a very small campaign and over here the conversion rates for that per ad group you can see they're all pretty much in the 25 range 36 percent for party bus and if we go into keywords you'll see here just broad match and a little bit modified broad match. I'm not even sure why this is like that. It must be older. <clears throat> the phrase match there. So yeah, really simple guys. Um, if you're in the limo industry, we're just running phrase match here and broad match. It's mostly broad match is all the conversions. If we sort by conversions here, you can see here it's almost all broad match. A couple phrases. One phrase, two phrase. So it's doing well. Um, the only advice I would have if you want to test running a um, broad match keyword campaign with an auto bid strategy is to make sure that you go through and you build a massive list of negative keywords because you're going to need them because you're going to get hit with a ton of crap. And if we go into search terms, scroll down to where it stops sending leads. You can see here. You're gonna get uh, competitor brand stuff, vintage limousine stuff, it's competitor, Ballet Express. But these are all stuff that need to be added to the uh, negative list. And obviously when I optimize this campaign this week, I'll get to that, but kind of just cruising through here to show you what you're gonna get. And these are actually not too bad, mostly for the fact that I have a gigantic negative list, but you're still gonna get stuff slipped through. There's nothing you can do about it. Absolute Comfort Limousine, that's a competitor. So you're gonna get stuff like this, a lot of competitor stuff, and you just gotta, negative it out that's all you really got to do and uh that's that's all i got for you guys today so if you have any questions about the limousine campaign 
um, drop them in the comment section below. Oh, one more thing. This is a completely mobile campaign. All right, there's not even an option to, on the landing page to um, submit a form. So that's another thing that you might want to keep in mind if you're trying to uh, run a limousine campaign. We found that the contact forms for limousine campaigns traditionally are, once they submit a contact form, they're really hard to get a hold of if you don't call them immediately. And a lot of these companies don't have the capacity to call someone the second that a lead comes through. So we decided to, in order to kind of sidestep that problem, was to just send phone calls because someone always answers the phone at these companies, or at this company at least. So um, they're booking a lot of jobs and it's all inbound phone calls. So that's something to keep in mind too. All right, guys, I will catch you later. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. We have a giant link tree in there now. There's a lot of free and cool stuff for you guys. All right, bye.